The choice selection for mouse today has grown so much that there are way too many selections to choose from. A gaming mouse, productivity mouse, ergonomic mouse, and I bet you have probably already heard about the vertical mouse. Today, we'll be taking a look at Fitzing's wireless ergonomic vertical mouse. Yes, the normal mouse that everyone uses are called horizontal mouse. I mean, they don't call it horizontal mouse, but rather because of this specific vertical orientation of your hands placement. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, hyperprovided content and tech. If any of this piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into using a vertical mouse. And here are some of the topics that we'll be discussing today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. As usual, let's start with the unboxing of this vertical mouse. It comes in a tiny package about the size of the mouse. And inside the box, we get a name card from Vitzing in case you need to call them for support the user guide and the mouse itself. Take note that the mouse does not come with a battery so you will need to get one yourself. And literally that is all that comes in the box. So in 1994, a revolutionary ergonomic mouse was invented and patented by Jack Lowe due to a discomfort he had when using a conventional mouse, which was invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1964, which is known as the standard mouse that we are using. So a vertical mouse provides more ergonomics due to its shape and build. A vertical mouse helps reduce fatigue on your wrist and prevents common conditions like internal shoulder pronation, forearm pronation, unnecessary pressure on your wrist, carpal tunnel, RSI, and overall it is just bad for overall posture. Well, not that I have any problems when using a normal mouse, I have been using the M720 trial with the mouse for a while now, and I've never had any wrist fatigueness when using excessively. So I picked up the vertical mouse on Lazada for about 15 ringgit and figured out why not give it a go and try it out. So here's a video to summarize everything that I've learned. Let's start with the basic features of this mouse. Starting from the build quality of the mouse, it is shaped abnormally with the intention of creating a handshake grip design when you can hold the mouse where your hand is in a neutral position. The ergonomic design also elevates your wrist from the desk, eliminating pressure on your wrist. This enables your hand to work in a very natural and comfortable position. And the material on the mouse is made out of a really, really nice matte silky finish that you would get on a premium mouse. The texture kind of feels like a rubbery surface but more on the matte side of things and it's really really soft to touch. It has some contoured gradient lines that provides a firm grip on the mouse which is really nice. When holding the mouse, your palm will be resting on the base of the mouse and your palm and wrist never really touches the table. Well, depending on the size of your hand, for larger hands, maybe only in the corner of your palm and that's it. At the bottom of the mouse, it has 5 surface pads that should be helping the mouse to glide smoothly. And this mouse uses a single AA battery and the USB dongle sits right inside the battery compartment when not being used. There are a total of 6 buttons, the normal left, right and middle scroll wheel click, a DPI control button to change between 3 different speed modes of the mouse, and a much needed forward and back button resting near the thumb area. This is also a silent mouse whereby 90% less noise is generated when the keys are being pressed as the buttons are constructed with new micro switches. Just like any other mouse, the basic operation of the mouse is exactly the same as the horizontal mouse, just the user experience when using the mouse due to its more ergonomic design. Now let's move on to my first impression of getting used to a vertical mouse. Of course, when I first switched, it didn't take me a long time to get used to changing my grip from the conventional horizontal mouse to a vertical one. The transition was rather smooth. I start off with the basic navigation of the mouse. Since your hand placement is now slightly vertical instead of horizontal, so there is less wrist movement navigating from left to right. Instead, you'll be using your entire forearm area. The scroll position will be slightly off-centered as compared to your previous horizontal method and it will take some time to get used to it. So now I'm constantly swapping between the Vitzing vertical mouse and the M720 triathlon mouse where in a day during office hours I'll be using the vertical mouse. And after work for video editing or even gaming and casual browsing on the M720 mouse. There were a couple of times I wish that my normal desktop setup was also using the vertical mouse. There is something about the firm sturdy grip coming from the vertical mouse that tempts me from getting an actual ergonomic mouse like the Logitech MX vertical mouse but the price tag on that one just needs some justification. But overall my first impression when using it is that I would highly recommend this to anyone that has actual pain from using normal horizontal mouse. And those of you who are looking to have a change in your setup, this mouse might be something fresh. But let's move on to the things that I like and dislike about the vertical mouse. Starting from the things that I absolutely love is of course the price. On this channel, we focus a lot on the value for money factor on a product. And this mouse costs about 50 ringgit when compared to the Logitech's ever famous M330 silent mouse, which is around the same price. Moving on, the ergonomic design of the mouse is also something that I'm really satisfied. 
The handshake design makes it really really comfortable to hold. The vertical gripping experience is something really surprising. You have to try it out for yourself to really get what I mean. As mentioned earlier, I switch a lot between these mouse from my day to day use and I often look forward to use the vertical mouse even after office hours just because of how comfortable it is to hold. Needless to say, the material on the mouse is also absolutely soft and premium. For the 90% noise reduction clicks, I like that the left and right button are as good as the budget silent mouse that Logitech offers in the same price range. It is subtle and doesn't cause any distraction. The sensitivity of the mouse is pretty responsive and there is a DPI control button in case you need to quickly switch up your mouse speeds. With all that good stuff, there are some downsides about the mouse that I wish some improvements could have been implemented. The back and forward button is loud. Only if they have used the same silent micro switch for the left and right button, then it would have been a whole lot better. Also take note that this vertical mouse is definitely not suitable for gaming and let me explain why. When you're using any mouse in general, do you find that sometimes you tend to raise your mouse with your wrist placed firmly on the table because you wanted a larger range of motion to slide your mouse across from one end to the other? While with the vertical mouse, call it being oversensitive, the mouse goes crazy when you mimic the same horizontal mouse movement on the vertical mouse. It might just be me but it happens for me and I find it annoying as well. Same goes to using this mouse when you place your laptop on your lap and you don't necessarily have a table to lay your mouse, you would use the corner of your laptop area to use your mouse and you simply cannot use it with this vertical mouse. Also during my 2-3 months of use, I realized that there's a slight precision loss when trying to navigate with the mouse around with like closing apps or navigating through a single cell in Microsoft Excel. But this is not a huge deal breaker, since this is most likely related to your muscle memory and how fast you adapt using this vertical style mouse. Uh, over time, I believe you can train to click more precisely. All in all, for the price of 50 ringgit, the VidSync Wireless Ergonomic Vertical Mouse has more features to like than dislike. And I would really really recommend this for someone who is looking to pick up a new budget mouse for your everyday use, mainly for productivity or office work related. For gaming and other tasks that demands for higher precision, you might want to look elsewhere. At the moment, there is an upgraded version of the same build quality mouse, but with Bluetooth connection for the extra 30 ringgit. And that is all I have for you guys in this video, hope you guys find this insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to link me a comment down below, I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you all so so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all very very soon, stay safe, peace out, and bye bye.